My second question is, the white supremacists seem to be letting this co-worker behave this way. I'm confused, Mr. Fuller, with why that is being allowed as well. Can you answer that? Thank you. Because the white supremacists, if that is the white supremacist, if it's a white supremacist, that is a part of that golden white supremacist strategy. See, they will deliberately put a black person among you, knowing full well what's going to happen, that he will put everybody in that machine shop or wherever it is, that office, in jeopardy, so he can fire all of you by saying none of, none of you are no good on account of that one person, that one link in the chain that they planted there. Now, he or she may not be aware that she was planted there, but the white supremacists knew what would happen. They are very scientific. And they'll say, oh, you know, you are covering for him. Now, we can't have you covering for somebody who's not, you know, contributing to the firm and making the firm weaker. So maybe it's not just feasible for us to get rid of that one person. As of next Tuesday, all of you can come in here and get your pay slipped, all seven of you, you know. And we'll just get a completely new seven people, which is what they intended to do in the first place. They right. planned that two years ago, but you didn't know it. But you See what I mean? Know. Yes, it, sir. This happens all the time, I'm telling you. See, I mean, you're talking about strategy. Yep. They didn't get where they got. Yep. Just being the most powerful people on earth without having long-range strategy. <laughs> you got that right. They have a strategy worked out before you even get the job. Yes, sir. About how they're going to see to it that you don't have the job before you retire. 